Hello there, it's David here from davidfrosick.com. Hope you're well. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to build your own link tree menu or a bio links menu, and you can use it across all of your social platforms, and you can do it using Notion for free. You gotta focus on what's real, man. Okay, so to start with, we are using a site called popsy.co, and it's a website builder that works on top of Notion. So we're using Popsy and Notion. Notion is a note-taking app and a database app that you can use to completely run your entire life, your business, your work streams, using it to store information on. So I'm gonna show you that in a moment as well. Popsy is the front end. It actually um, allows you to build websites from your Notion pages, and that's what we're using here, popsy.co. Now, I'm gonna go in here and build a links menu. You can see I've got one here. Um, I'll show you how I've made it and how it looks right now. Um, you can see a link at the top here. Let's let this load up a sec, there it is, already made. Now, I'm gonna make another one from scratch. I did record another video and the audio didn't record, so I'm just gonna do it all again. So the first thing we do is go to Templates here on the left-hand side, which takes us to the Popsy site. If you go to Popsy, you can go to Templates at the top here. Scroll on down, I'm gonna choose this one, the Angelina template that we've got, and we just choose Get This Template. That takes you to Notion. Now, you, if you're not logged into Notion yet, you have to will have to log in to duplicate this template. Um, if you haven't got a Notion account, you need to go and set up a Notion account. They're free, so you can use that. Um, you can see at the top, it says duplicate. Like I said, if you aren't logged in, it will then ask you to log in. I think I'm logged in on this account already still, so it should just present me with my workspaces, which it does here. As you can see, I've got, I'll choose my notes where it's gonna go. So it's gonna duplicate that template and put it into my own Notion account. And you can see on the left here, it says untitled. If I just open up Notion here, and if I go to my menu, there it is there, Untitled, and that is the Angelina template we've just downloaded. So this Notion here is on the web, this is just the web version, um, and my other one is actually the app version I've downloaded. I'm gonna work from the app, so I'll close down this one here. We can close down this template, and we'll go back over to here. So this is where we're gonna put the new site. So firstly, we'll go into the template, from here, we want to customize your template, how it looks. So you can just click on this and you can replace an image. Um, the links here that you've got down here, if you're using things like Instagram or social accounts, TikTok and so on, um, Popsy automatically gets the um, icon from those social accounts and pulls it into your buttons. So you can see here, these are buttons actually on, this, on these links. So if you just click on something, you can turn it into a link. If you wanna make it a button, you have to wrap it in square brackets as you can see there. Now you can leave these like this if you want. They're, they're using spacing here to make to stretch out the buttons that you've got on the page. Down below, we've got some other little um, links that they've added in as well. You can choose to keep these or remove them. Entirely up to you. To replace the image, you would just click on it here and you can just go to um, replace image. Nope, not doing it there. Let me just go replace. There we go, replace, and you can upload your own icon or your own image of yourself. I've done that on my page. I'll show you how my page looks here. So inside of my page, this is my page here. So I've rebuilt my page. I've put the image of me. I've changed the um, headline, the title here, and then I've put a little, some other links down the bottom. You can see this one here says YouTube and Twitter. If I jump back to the site, and just show you how that one looks. It automatically converts those into icons, as you can see for the Twitter down here and the YouTube one. It also does the same for the other ones that you've got. It hasn't done it for the book one here, so there might just be a little bug inside of Popsy. I'm gonna drop them a note and let them know that if they don't see this video. Um, so that's what it does. Let's go back into Notion. So you need to edit all your um, links that you want it to have, or you can use those default ones they've got in place here. You might just want to link over to your website. So the beauty of these bio links is that you can link to the priority pages or the key pages where you want people to link to. So when they go to your social profile and they click on links, you could link to products and services that you want them to buy, or your top blog posts, or maybe to book a call with you, or something like that. So it's not send them over to their entire website, or just send them to your website. You're giving them a menu of specific actions that you want them to take in that menu. So that's what's really nice. Now, once you've got this page built, so if I just go to here and I just type in, um, I'll just put, hello, test site. All you do is obviously edit the text. You go to the share option across the top here, share on the web, you can turn off duplication if you want, um, and what we do is we copy this link here. Now once you've copied that and you've made your edits and it's ready to go, you copy the link, go back to Popsy here, click on create new site, I'll just call this links test, 
And then from here, you paste in that Notion page that you just copied from Notion. Click Next. It's gonna ask you what your site is. You can choose other things. I'll just use other for this example. It's a bio links. You can then see it pulls through that page into Popsy here. Just give it a minute to do that. There you go, it's pulled through and you can see it's automatically converted these into buttons on the site. And from here, you can start picking a theme, how you want it to look, changing different colors. You can sort of pick an overall theme and then you can drill down and change the colors a bit more inside the editor. Um, if I just choose, um, let's just say with this one right now, copper, click save from there and then I can click customize and I can go in and actually change some of these different colors again on the copper template. You can see if we go down, you can change some of the fonts. This one's got images. Okay, there's some backgrounds there. We've got some other sort of funky backgrounds. Okay, so you can pick a background theme as well. Now, just to note, Popsy is free. You can use a free version of it to build websites and get up and running with a website that's powered by Notion. Um, or you can pay and you get access to all these customizations here, which is eight bucks a month and you can customize your theme. You can choose things like, for example, if I want to turn off this title at the top, so I go down to my logo and show title name, I can turn it off there, you see, it turns it off. And you can do things like building custom navigations and you can have lots of others. You can have unlimited sites as well for eight bucks a month. So it's well worth it. I do highly recommend you upgrade. Um, then I click save here. And now that's the site built off that template. Obviously these links haven't been edited, so you can edit those in Notion and they'll all be edited again. And then if you wanna publish your site, you click publish and you could just type in here your name and links and it'll be a free site on the .popsy.site and you click next and it creates a new site, it takes about five minutes just to push it online. Alternatively, you can go down here and put in your own domains. You could type in like links.davidfroslick.com. That's what I done for my previous one. And then if I just, uh, what I'll do is actually, I'll just show you a brief. If I just do test links and click next, it's then gonna ask you which is the main. I use GoDaddy, I'll click next. And then you have to put in these A records inside GoDaddy. If you're publishing a live site that you want on your domain, I do recommend you do that as well. It looks much nicer, looks more professional. So for my site, it's links.davidfroslick.com. Um, to go into GoDaddy, I'll just show you how you do it. You go into GoDaddy, go to manage your DNS, Obviously, I've already added the links one because I've done it earlier as I was recording. Um, we can see it's here, look, it's an A record, it's links, and it points over to Popsy, which is the same back here, A, test links, and that. So what I would do is I'd go to add, I would choose the A record, the name is test links, I would then drop that in there, and the uh, value or the IP address we put is there, and I click add record, you add that, Takes some um, a few minutes. Actually, when I'd done this, um, the first time I was recording this, it done it instantly within a couple of minutes. Now that might be GoDaddy. You can check the propagation of your domain names across the web, which means it'll see how long this takes to change. Um, some web or domain services might just take a little bit longer. They say it can take up to 24 hours. So just bear that in mind. So that's how you then point. What I'm doing here is I'm creating a subdomain that points over to Popsy to my links menu. So if I just go back here and cancel this for now because I don't want to do it on this test site. There's no need to um, have another site in my account. If I go here, look, you can see, and it's got my domain is links.davidfrosdick.com. So that's what I've done. I've already edited the DNS, which points over to my site. Um, I'm just going to cancel this because I don't need to add it. Um, you can see here also a couple of things I've done on my own site is I've edited some CSS at the top to remove the menu and some spacing. Um, I also extended my buttons out full width with some CSS as well, which I've done on here. Um, so if you want to get the free template, my template with um, the custom CSS in, there'll be a link below this video as well. You can get that, or you can just go and play with it yourself inside of Notion. Um, like I said earlier, these spaces here are done using spacing. So they've just, if I delete this, they've just pressed space to stretch out that button for um, this option on this template. But I added in a bit of custom CSS on mine. You can see here, here are my buttons, they all look like this. And they're actually on the site, they've stretched out to full width of um, the template columns that we've got there. Um, so that is it. That's how you can build your own bio links or your own link tree or your links menu that you can use across all of your social networks. You can use a free version of Popsy on their hosted free platform, or you can pay eight bucks a month and you can use it also to host your own mini website, which is powered by Notion. Thanks for watching this video. I'll be back soon with more videos. Bye for now.